Hi, this is Josh from the Paddock channel. Uh, first and foremost, I want to welcome uh, those of you who have subscribed to our channel. Um, also, to those of you who have not subscribed to our channel, please, uh, you know, give us a like, give us that thumbs up that you enjoy what we're putting out there as far as our videos goes. Uh, also, uh, subscribe if you would like to, to follow for further on videos that we're going to be making for you. And make sure that you share if you have any friends or, or family members, anybody else that you might know that might be coming over here to the Philippines uh, within the next year or so. Um, so I'm really excited to come to you today from uh, Longapo, Philippines. It's uh, where the old Subic Bay uh, Navy base used to be here. And um, we've been here for the past couple of days. I have absolutely loved it here so far. It could be one of my favorite spots. Um, there's been a few of those that we've really liked, but for me, this one is great, surrounded by, by mountains, there's water, a uh, little bit of everything. So, the reason for me making this video is because we have been here in the Philippines now for about three months to the date. So, um, I have been able to experience a lot so far in the past three months, and I thought I would make a, a pretty short video. And I need to give you kind of a background uh, about myself. I am now retired. I retired in February of this year, as well as my wife retired. Uh, we're a military family. I retired back in 2012 out of Camp Pendleton, California. And uh, all of our kids are out of the house now. And so we have decided that it's uh, my wife and I's time to enjoy our lives. And so we decided that we would pick up, come to the Philippines for five to six months to really figure out if it's a place that we want to uh, actually retire, maybe buy a home and uh, enjoy the rest of our lives. Make it kind of a home base to, uh, to head out to different parts of Asia uh, since we really like the area. I have been to the Philippines before. I've been here. This is actually my fifth time. All the other times though were a little bit different. They were for a max of about 18 days, that's it. So really didn't get, didn't get to experience uh, the Philippines the way that um, I needed to to find out if it was someplace I wanted to live. Just kind of give you an idea of what I've been through so far. So uh, let's just start off with um, some of the things that um, have really made a difference for me here. Uh, one of the biggest things that uh, I've realized here in the Philippines and it is probably the biggest difference from where I'm at in the States, which is the Phoenix area, um, is the humidity. Uh, the humidity has been atrocious for me, and I think that um, that's one of the areas that has really hit me the hardest being here. Um, I know I've been to the Middle East before. I have been to uh, the Philippines, like I said, I've been to Okinawa, Thailand, a few other places here in Asia, and this, um, this heat with the humidity has been pretty tough on me. So uh, with that being said, for those of you that are coming over here um, that may struggle with uh, heat, um, specifically humidity and heat, um, that is going to be tough, okay? And it's something that you're just gonna have to work through. Um, I'm hoping that um, I will get used to it. We are here for about another month and some change before we start our trip back to the United States. And, um, but again, it is one of the things that I've been struggling with here the most. And I kind of wanted just to lay that one out to you all real quick. And this is all again, from my perspective and what I've done so far here, what I've experienced. So for other people, they may have had a completely different experience. I actually went and bought a car as soon as I got here. Um, I will tell you, um, I don't know that I made a huge mistake in buying a car, uh, but it would it, it was more cost effective for me to buy a car and actually sell it when I leave um, than to, to rent a car because renting a car here is super expensive. Now I love the local transportation, but we were basically traveling from uh, Manila to Tagaytay for one month, down into the Batanga city area, uh, we traveled all the way up to the northern tip of Luzon in Pagudpud and into an area called Bowling Down. And so we have used the car extensively. It's been, a, it's been a pretty good car so far for us, but we did buy it pretty fast. And I didn't really have a chance to get it all checked out before we headed to Tagai Tai for the month. So um, do your due diligence, uh, really figure out if it's something that you want to do or that you need to do as far as buying a car versus renting a car versus 
If you're gonna be in one spot for a long period of time, you can use the local transportation like the jeepneys, the, the trikes, um, they're fantastic. I, I actually love riding them. But with all the driving, like I said, that we were gonna do, I really need to make sure that we had a vehicle um, that we could just pick up and move uh, all of the luggage and everything that we had. Besides that, I do have two brother-in-laws that live here in the Philippines and a niece and a nephew. So we wanted to be able to uh, take them around as well. Um, other than that, some of the things I've experienced, uh, you know, uh, back in the States, um, I am seen uh, quite often by my doctors. Um, I do have uh, some disabilities through my military career um, that are pretty, pretty significant. And um, so I am seen quite often in the States and it was one of my worries here in the Philippines on what the medical treatment was like. You know, I thought to myself, really, how bad could it be? Well, it's been tough, I will tell you. Um, in Tagay, I was there for a month. I came down with some stomach issues and um, it led to some heart palpitations, another thing that really worried me. So I did go to the ER um, in Tagay, Thai at the uh, Tagay, Thai Medical Center and it was kind of a nightmare, to be honest. Um, it's a bigger hospital, so I really thought that the care would be pretty good. Um, I was in there and uh, immediately they said, we have an abnormal EKG, so um, we're gonna go ahead and start an IV and give you some other medications. And within like an hour, they were telling me that they wanted to admit me to the ICU. And um, my only question then was, well, you did a second, AG, a second EKG on me already, you took blood tests, and everything came back normal. So why are you wanting to you know, put me into the ICU? So there was a lot of questions there. Um, I ended up seeing a cardiologist in St. Luke's Hospital, which is a really big hospital, and, and it's actually pretty nice. I was very fortunate though, because I have relatives here in the Philippines whose other relative is a cardiologist. Um, all in all, I've spent probably close to $1,000 out of pocket. Um, for my medical expenses and so those were expenses that were unknown but I had to take it out of uh, out of our savings account um, in order to pay for it. Um, I have filed through TRICARE since I am a retiree. I haven't seen the money yet. It's only been about a week so far since I filed those claims. So we'll see what happens with TRICARE. That's still kind of an unknown about really how all that works. The only thing I do know is when you're here in the Philippines you do have to uh, pay for everything up front. So the night before we left the ER, I had to pay around $600, uh, it was a little over 30,000 pesos. And uh, so that was, you know, sticker shock, I guess, for me. But it was uh, something that had to be done in order for me to actually to be discharged. Um, that also goes with, uh, if you were seen by um, a hospital or any other doctor, and let's say you go to get your blood test, your blood test, um, it's, it was basically separate from my cardiologist, so um, he orders them, I go in there with the paperwork, hand them, hand them the information at the lab, uh, and they take the payment first, at least they did for me, they took the payment first and I went and got my labs done. When you go back to the doctor for those uh, blood tests to be read, you actually have to go back and get the paperwork for the blood test and then take it to the doctor. So. That was my experience. I don't know, like I said, about anybody else, um, but it is um, is different, different than the United States. And it's kind of one of those things, one of those items I have to take a close look at if I really want to live here uh, with my wife and, um, and spend a good amount of time here. Uh, and that was really in Manila and the Tagay Tire, which is pretty built up. It's pretty, um, you know, it's, it's with times really compared to maybe some other places. So, uh, they do seem to be a little bit behind. Doctors don't seem to have access to my chart except for what they do. So, if you're one of those folks that has some medical issues you have to deal with, that is definitely something to, to think about. I just want to say that in the three months that I've been here, I have never felt in danger. I have never felt like I was looked at in some sort of way where um, I was going to be you know, pickpocketed or um, or somebody was gonna do something to me back, okay? I have never felt any kind of danger going into the grocery stores, walking on the streets. Now, obviously there are places that you don't wanna to go to, 
but in general, if you're in Makati or if you're in, uh, we, we were in Pasta, these are all Metro Manila places. I have never felt like I was in danger whatsoever. So if you ever hear that it is dangerous here in the Philippines, I submit that it's probably more dangerous to go to the grocery store in the United States than it is to go anywhere here in the Philippines. I've never felt that danger at all. Um, I have always felt welcomed by everybody. Um, I absolutely love getting out and meeting people and talking to people. I really am kind of a, a, a chatterbug. So I like to go up to the kids and talk to kids. Um, I love to go up and talk to pretty much anybody, the guards, and everybody reacts in kind with smiles and hello sir, um, asking me where I'm from, let's take pictures together. It has been fantastic. So if the Philippines is a place where you're looking to come to and you have not been here before or you've only been here for um, you know a few weeks at a time, I'll tell you, the, the people are as friendly as everybody says. And um, I cannot just um, explain it enough. Uh, compared to the US, people don't really get out and talk to each other, um, at least in my experiences. I mean, sometimes they do, but um, here, it just seems like a different vibe. I feel like my troubles have just kind of washed away. Um, I don't really stress about things too much other than the you know, my health stuff but um, otherwise it's been it's been one of those really worry-free types of, uh, of times for me and that in itself has been fantastic if you plan on coming here do your research watch YouTube videos there's videos like this there's videos um, from a ton of people do your due diligence take a grain of salt with everything even with my video your experience may not be the same as mine other than that, that's going to be about it for this video. Um, I plan on doing a couple more of these. Like I said, our next couple months is going to be basically, uh, we have a month here in the Philippines. We take two weeks and we go to Korea. And then we head back to the U.S. first week of, uh, of October. And then uh, we have some serious thinking to do on what, what our plan is. But this has been a great about five months to really see what we want to do, see where we want to be. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten to see Palawan or Bowl, which was our other stops. That was due to my sicknesses. Again, uh, please like the video, um, subscribe if you haven't. Please share again if you have any any other you know folks that you know that are going to be coming over here or it's in their plans. You know, watch our other videos that we have. Me and my wife have a great time doing this, and we would love to see more of you subscribe. Take care, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day, and it's been a pleasure coming to you from. Subic Bay, Philippines.